Hi everybody, Tammy here, and I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to create our own header for a Google Classroom, just make it a little bit more customizable. I was just looking through what Google provides in their themes, and they've changed them. They're not as interesting to me, I'm kind of boring, so I'm going to say no to that, and so I'm going to create my own and upload it and just make it more personalized for our classroom. You could do maybe a picture of the class and then stick it in there, or you can have your own students come up with their own and then just pick the best or rotate them out. Um, so to put some more creativity. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google Drive and I've created a folder called image resources that I'm going to work in here. So I'm going to go to new and I'm going to go down to more and then Google Drawings. So Google Drawings is a great place to create um, custom graphics. So I'm going to change the title here to Google Classroom header and then Notice that the blank canvas that comes up here is a rectangle and the size of about a 10 by 8. We cannot do that with our Google Classroom header. It's definitely more wide than it is tall. So we're going to change the size here and we're going to go to File and then down to Page Setup. We're going to click on the drop down and go to Custom. We're going to change the inches to pixels and we're going to go 1600 to 400 and then apply that. So this is the perfect size for our header that we're going to use. And from here, you could really do anything. You could insert a picture here, but keep in mind if you insert your own photos that you're going to want to crop them in a way that fits that, uh, that canvas, that's 1600 by 400. Um, you don't want to get um, images that are too small because when you um, enlarge them, um, to fit, then they're blurry. You want to make sure you have good, crisp, quality pictures that are large enough to um, be clear. So from here, you could insert an image. You could insert an image from your computer or drive, or you can search the web. Say I want a beach scene, so I'm going to hit beach, and I'm just going to use one of these. Now notice it's not as big as my header palette here my canvas. So I'm just going to show you what you could do, but I definitely don't recommend that you do it. I definitely don't recommend that you do this stretching a photo. Now this doesn't look that bad, but normally if you have people in the picture, especially you don't want to distort and um, make that image look kind of crazy. So, um, but you could do this. So I'm filled up the whole thing. You could insert a text box. Uh, with the name of your class. You could insert some word art. Um, that's up to you, um, but I want to actually show you something else. So I'm going to go back to our blank canvas here, and if you right click, you can go to background, and then you can choose a background color. So um, that's an easy way to do that. So right click again. Um, I could go to gradient and make it a little bit more interesting. Or, um, just to really quickly show you, in Gradient, if I go to Custom, I can add these different gradient stops. And so I can actually move them around, like how much of the, um, the image that I do want each color. So, say I start with this dark purple, and then I'm going to move up a little lighter, and then go a little lighter than that, and then maybe not so dark at the end here and see how that looks. So not, not too bad. If I go back, I'm going to show you a couple of other um, different things. We've got two types of gradients we can work with, linear and radial. Linear will give you every 45 degree angle, so you can play with those to see what you want to do. Um, and then let me go back to 90. For radial, um, you can change your pattern here um, with several options here. And I like the center. We're going to just going to keep it like that. So not too bad. And you can do any, any colors that you want to. So from here, I'm going to insert a text box and put in Whitaker's classroom. Um, let me change the C and then I'm going to change the font a little bit more interesting, um, change the size of it change the color of it, um, make it a little bold. Um, if you don't like the font and you don't like the fonts that you have to choose from here, remember you can go to more fonts. There's a tons more, ton more fonts up there. So 
um, kind of like that. Let's make that a little bit bigger and I'm going to expand that because I want it here. Now also if you like Bitmoji, if you have your own Bitmoji, it has a Chrome extension. So I'm going to go get mine and I'm going to choose something. Um, if I choose one of my Bitmojis, just find what you want and then just drag it down. It makes it real easy to add to it and it is a perfect size. I think it's probably 400 by 400. So perfect size here. Um, keep in mind that the new classrooms that I'm noticing, it has some things up here in the upper left. So we don't want anything um, that will be up there or in the lower right. So this looks good. Again, you can insert any kind of shapes, anything that um, just play with all the different things in here. Um, and then once you have your image the way you like it, you will go to File and Download. Now normally I download as a PNG because PNG will give you some transparent backgrounds, but my background is completely covered so it doesn't matter. So you could do JPEG or, or PNG. So I'm going to save it as a B PNG and notice it saves down here. Um, and then I'm going to go back to my classroom and I'm going to go to Upload Photo. Now it, in this area right here, I can just take this this uh, image that I just saved and I can grab it and drag it up in here and then I'm going to change my um, the cropping here to fill up and I'm going to move it over here and set it and we are in now notice it does have a little dim um, lighting to it because they want that accessibility uh, for these other titles so they're making your um, your personal images a little bit more dim than the ones that they provide, but that's okay. So keep that in mind. Um, have fun with it. Create your own. Let the kids create it. If you have any questions, just let me know, but just a fun way to make it a little bit more personal in Google Classroom.